Hello, uh, my name's James. I'm press officer for the British Space Organisation. Sam, camera dude. That's Sam, that's camera dude. Um, we're on our way to interview some very important space people who are going to tell us about what they think of our project and um, how well it's going to go. As you can see, this coast is very bumpy. Um, Sam? Uh, yeah, hopefully nothing should go wrong with the equipment. Um, we shouldn't be late. Hopefully these guys will be nice and help us on the site uh, with our project, Your Voice in Space. So um, that should go well. We shall keep you updated along the way. Right, uh, now we're still on the coach and it looks like we're in London. Uh, there's some trees and that's, that's kind of what London looks like. <laughs> it's quite exciting. Um, that is not what London looks like. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically we're now almost, we're in Hampstead now, like we would be in Victoria about 10, 15 minutes and then we've got to get a train. So Roehampton Cam Campus, Kingston Uni. And from there we interview the winner of a space Oscar. It's quite exciting. Sam? Yeah, um, so, Pretty excited. <laughs> Pretty excited. We're here at uh, Kingston University of Roehampton. Is it all like Roehampton Vale or whatever? Yeah. Uh, to meet uh, this guy Chris Welch now. We're just about to have an interview with him. Um, we're just waiting for him in the canteen at the moment. We'll anticipate it's going to be useful hopefully to uh, get your voice to space off and uh, well, to launch it. <laughs> uh, sorry, really rubbish. Um, so yeah, basically hopefully it will all go well. And we'll get some good footage and uh, we'll get back to you after we actually finish the interview. Okay, well, we're in Teddington, which is um, in southwest London, and we're just about to meet the ex director general of the British National Space Centre. Um, he retired in May 2006, but you know, he's still he was, he was involved in the Beagle 2 mission. Yeah, that, that's him right that's there. The right, yeah. Colour printers working really well. Um, he's involved in the Beagle 2 mission. Um, he sort of ran it and so has a massive insight into the world of space, UK space and yeah, it should be a great help for us. Tell them how our other interview went. Our other interview went really well. Um, this guy is obviously knows his stuff. He's been teaching space like technology and science engineering for about 20 years and um, at Kingston University. He's done loads of interviews. He's been really involved in the UK space scene and he seemed to really like our idea. Um, gave us some tips of how we can sort of improve it. So yeah, it's all good. Right, we've now finished our interviews for today. We've gone pretty well. Hopefully the rushes will be good. Um, just when we're out of London now, out of South uh, Kensington, so we'll be home soon, finally. It's been a long day, and uh, I've enjoyed it. James, have you enjoyed it? I have enjoyed it. It's been, uh, it's been really good, so hopefully we'll go well towards our final presentation, and uh, yeah, we'll keep you updated. Thanks for your